Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace sale, this month being the April sale. So once again we've got thousands of assets with a 50% discount on them and in today's video what I'm going to be doing is going over the top 10 which I've chosen out of all of these many many assets and I believe a lot of these are also UE5 ready as well. So without further ado, let me get right into this video with all the links in the description down below as well as the link to the full marketplace page as you can see on screen here. So again, without further ado, let me get right into it. So first up, we've got the procedural biomes. Now this is a game ready environment with different biomes, unique assets for each biome and with procedural spawn systems to populate your own maps. So this will allow you to populate your scenes with three procedurally generated different biomes. There are three pre-made 2 km square game ready environment maps to showcase each procedural biome. Every biome has its own unique trees, vegetation and grass types. It also has its own auto landscape material with 6 different landscape layers, 10 grass types and ready to use runtime virtual texture assets. So it features 3 biomes with those being Northern, Northern Summer and Mediterranean, 3 maps with a 2 square kilometer play area for each biome, a procedural foliage spawn system, a global wind system, unique foliage for each biome i.e. trees, vegetation, rocks, ground meshes, grass types and much more. There are 13 trees, 9 rocks, 16 ground meshes, 10 bushes, 33 vegetation, 2 backgrounds and a road mesh. A landscape auto material with 6 landscape layers and 10 grass types for each biome. Ready to use runtime virtual texture setup. Landscape spline and road mesh. Customizable background mesh. Multiple types of trees with different versions i.e. oak, pine, conifer and palm. And there's also some basic Niagara V effect in there too. So in total there are 84 unique meshes those having custom and generated collision on them. There are also LODs included in this, and there are 11 materials, 106 material instances, and 22 material functions, with 260 textures, ranging from 512 by 512, all the way up to 4K. Now I think this one looks absolutely great. As you can see, this would be great for any kind of game you want, so this could work really well for a large open world kind of adventure game or survival game, or anything you really want. But I think this looks really good. Next, we've got the Animex German Shepherd. So this pack can be used for any type of game as main characters, enemy, prey or anything else. The package comes with 70 high quality animations, 3 styles, real time fur, 5 LODs and a ready to use controller. So as you can see in the video on screen now, you can play as the German Shepherd or you can also have this as an AI so it's a companion not you playing as it. So there are 68 animations, all movement animations use root motion. There's two models, one with fur and one without fur. And there are six textures all in 4k and the whole project is all 100% blueprint so this is a nice and simple one and i think it is really good especially with the ik as you saw on there as well and all the different actions you've got it all looks amazing and again this would work really well for either you playing as a dog or an ai companion for you or just even ai's roaming around the world now it is the mae pine forest and this allows you to create your own realistic pine forest with this high quality scanned meshes in under 15 minutes. So it's also very well optimized as all trees have a minimum of 3 LODs and billboards as well. And the high density forest comes with good optimization. So it features AAA quality forest, dynamic lighting, a procedural foliage generation, automatic slope bending, a 4x4 example map, LODs and billboards, and so much more. The assets include pine trees, pine saplings, strawberry trees, grass, rocks, thorns, wheat, roads and bushes, there's so much in here for you to be able to use to create your own forest. So there are 68 unique meshes, 6 materials and 67 material instances with 43 material functions. To go along with that there are 196 textures with the texture resolutions ranging from 512 to 4k. Once again I think this one looks absolutely fantastic as this is all photorealistic so this would work really well in UE5 with the new lumen lighting and the wall partition and everything with U5 this would look great and this is also supported in Unreal Engine 5 as well but regardless of that this whole thing just looks amazing anyway. Now is the Niagara Storm VFX pack and I think this one looks fantastic. So this allows you to create powerful storms with realistic storm effects crafted with Niagara. So you have ones that can be used for street, snowy and desert environments all of which are fully parametric, easy to use and can be used with the help of blueprints or it can even be controlled manually as well and all the effects can be easily varied and changed so it looks dynamic and different for each one. So the type of emitters are CPU and GPU, there are 35 Niagara effects with LODs as well, 
9 mass materials, 22 material instances, and 3 material functions, with 22 textures. There are 2 blueprints and 6 unique meshes, and 8 animated props. So as you can see on the video now, this looks amazing, you can really use this any way you want for these 3 different environments, it could work really well in your game. Even if you don't want it to be a storm, you could just kind of tone down the intensity of some of these effects and just use it for general weather as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be for a storm as drastic as you see in the video on screen now. So this is just a quick short one to go over, very basic but looks absolutely amazing. Next up we've got the City Sim Animation Pack and this is a set of 200 plus city animations with blueprint animations as well. I put this one in here because I think this would be great to be able to just populate your scene and environment with all these different AIs using these different city animations. So some of the animations include barmen, servers, lifeguards, mechanics, librarians, butchers, beggars, and people sitting, idling, walking, all this great stuff, and they've got animations for both male and female characters. So anything you can imagine seeing in a city is in this pack for you to be able to use in your game as well. So these animations are rigged to the epic skeleton, and IK bones are also included. There are 202 total animations, both of which are root and in-place animation types. So again, I think there's just a very wide variety of different animations available here for you to be able to use in your map to just populate it and make it really feel like it's lived in to have all these different people walking about living in your environment. Now we've got the evil little dragon. And this is a game-ready, stylized character. So this is rigged, but obviously not rigged to the epic skeleton, and it is also animated with 21 animations, four of which are root motion, 17 are in place. There is only one character that as you can see on screen now. The texture resolutions go from 1K all the way to 4K. And again, this looks really neat. Very simple and very short to show off, but something which you could use in a game which you want to play as. So this could be either the main character or an AI, as I mentioned earlier. So this might be good for an enemy or for a boss or something along those lines. But as I said earlier, this is stylized and I think it looks really nice. Next is the Survival Backpack Inventory System. So this project includes picking up, discarding and using items, dragging and dropping in the backpack bar, reducing the status of characters, restoring the status after using items, changing characters clothes and an instance of a house blueprint. So this also has a clothing system for the character and the house has interactive doors and windows and there is also a compass included in this as well. So there are 41 blueprints however it is not network replicated. So this is kind of more of a basic inventory system which you might want, but it works very well for anything which you'd want. For example, it's a survival backpack inventory, but again, this could work for any kind of inventory you want. It doesn't just have to be survival, but that's really what it's aimed for working in. And this is all 100% in blueprints as well, so you can go on and have a look at the code to see how they've done it. However, one thing to keep in mind is when you read the questions on the marketplace page, somebody has mentioned that although this is very good, it's not the easiest to add in to an existing project. However, it definitely is possible. And the developer of this have said they are working on updating this project to be more readily available for that in the future. And maybe that is like that now as well. Now we've got the Niagara appearance effects. So this is appearance effects of skeletal and static meshes with Niagara. So there's not much to say about this one. You can see on screen now all the different effects for both skeletal meshes and static meshes. And these are for appearing. So you can use them for appearing or disappearing anything like that. The emitters are GPU, there's 8 unique effects with 30 materials, 21 textures and 12 blueprints along with 6 meshes. So again they've not left much details on the page, there's not much else to say, really the video speaks volumes and explains the whole thing, this is all you need to know, it's appearance effects in Niagara system for skeletal meshes and static meshes and the emitter types are GPU. Next is something a little bit different and it is the Lookout Tower Low Poly. So this low poly pack contains a large number of low poly models designed to create scenes with observation towers, forests, rocks, and the interior of the observation tower. So the pack contains more than 100 unique objects, a ready-made lookout tower scene, as well as an overview scene. The scene contains smoke and fire, models for creating a tower, as well as a landscape. So those are 136 meshes with collision, and the vertex count ranges from 16 to 1108. There are no LODs in this, however as it's all low poly, that shouldn't be too necessary anyway. There's 9 mass materials and 3 material instances, with 2 textures and 2 effects. So this is a really nice kind of stylized low poly asset, which you might want to use for a game, so you don't even need to use the lookout tower itself that's already been made. 
even if you just want to use some of the hundreds of assets within this pack as well that would be great and these could be used in any way it doesn't just have to be a lookout tower these could also work well in a house or anywhere else which you would imagine and finally last but not least it is a plugin and that is the selection tool plugin so this creates a rectangular selection and returns a list of actors so this plugin provides more selection options than the standard ue tools and i think this looks really really useful so it has settings for filtering actors selection in screen space and with a fixation on the first click bound box considering rotation you can also do single click as well as dragging it supports 3d and 2d games you can change the line width color and fill color and you can modify so many other settings as well so this is created in c++ which means it's very very efficient and high performance and so some statistics they've given on that is selecting 10 objects is equal to 0.009 milliseconds 50 objects is at 0.021 milliseconds so there are three c++ classes it's not network replicated and it supports any development platforms so as you can see on the video on screen now this looks like it would be a really useful tool to use especially for selecting a lot of things at once without having to select them all in the asset browser on the right and having to click them all individually and find out which ones are which so i think that'll be it for this video on the april sale of 2022 once again we've got over a thousand assets all 50 percent off and so on from now until this Sunday, the 24th of April 2022. So make sure to check them out as soon as possible and get any which you want. So if you've maybe been eyeing some up that you want to get, now's the time to get them. So let me know in the comments down below which asset your favourite one was from this video and any others which you've seen on the marketplace as well, which you thought were great and deserve a shout on this video too. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.